Whoa, that's heavy. What is this? Oh my gosh, what is that? What? Oh no. What do we got? Another anchor? It is, dude. Nah. -uh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, look at, look at what's dangling from there. Yo, look at all the color. What is going on today, guys? Today we are back out at this spring walleye run fishing hotspot. And today we are gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. Now today we're gonna be trying something that I've only tried a couple times, but you guys loved it. Today we're gonna be taking a GoPro duct taping it to my magnet and we're gonna drop it in here and see what we can find. Now, if you guys remember the last time we came here, I wanna say we found probably $300, maybe even more worth of fishing lures, specifically the rip and wrap. Them things are like $10 a piece, you guys, and they are littered in this area. Now, I'm not exactly sure how well this is gonna work, you guys. It might not even work at all, but it is pretty sunny out today, so I'm hoping some of that light can reach the bottom of the river so it can help us see. <laughs> Today, you guys, I brought two completely empty tackle boxes, and we're gonna try and fill these things completely up. I'm not gonna waste any more time, guys. We're gonna get right down to it. I am gonna duct tape this GoPro to my magnet. We're gonna start tossing, and we're gonna see how many fishing lures we can find here today. If you guys would like to pick up some merch or you wanna pick up a magnet, the links will be down in the description, guys. All right, guys, today I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. And the game plan is to duct tape this GoPro to the line and pretty much face it downwards. So essentially, when we're dragging this magnet at the bottom of the river, we should be able to see whatever's at the bottom. <laughs> All right, you guys, check it out. This is our final product. I got our GoPro duct taped to our magnet here. Let's start tossing this thing around and see if we can find any rip and wraps today. Right there, you guys. We already got us one. I feel like some kind of adrenaline junkie or something, you guys. Seriously, I don't know what it is about finding these, but my goodness, I mean, look at 10 bucks, boom. And I wonder if we caught it uh, on the underwater footage or not. I guess I won't know until we get home. First rip and wrap of the day. It's got both the hooks on there and this thing is ready to fish. These are cold, hard cash, dude. All right, guys, we're gonna start filling up one of my little tackle box things here. I don't know how many slots are in one of these, but uh, we're gonna see if we can fill up an entire, at least one of these today. One for the tackle box. quick something and it's coming with us that feels like it might be the weight of an anchor possibly oh i see a whole bunch of stuff on here what do we got going on here i don't know what that is but look at one two jigs on there check this thing out you guys i don't know what to think of this thing almost looks like the foot or the stand of something and maybe it broke off i'm not really sure this is like one of the first somethings that we found out here that wasn't a fishing lure or an anchor a little bit of scrap weight but you guys check it out one jig here uh the hook's busted off of that one and another jig and the hook on that one is like pristine yet heck yeah you guys jig number two that's what she do <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
there's one right there sitting right on top you guys bingo check that one out man see that this one's missing some of the hooks here but who cares you guys we are gonna fill this tackle box in no time 10 bucks 20 bucks cha-ching people we got out here today one boat two three four five six seven eight nine ten boats i can see none of them are magnet fishing for free lures huh more for me oh see something dangling off of there oh look at that one oh and an ice fishing jig you guys we got us a two for one but look at this big old honker that sucker just looks expensive dude what the heck is that one heck yeah you guys we got us a little ice fishing jig to add to the tackle box and we got this big old thing honestly i don't even know what this is i don't see a name that's a cool one though you guys the old two piece <laughs> see a little tail yep bingo buddy we got us another walleye jig it's insane how as soon as i see some color you almost know it's one of two things probably either a walleye jig or a rip and wrap most likely and again hooks a little rusty but that is still good yet you guys we got us another one we already filled up the bottom row of course it's not with all jigs here heck yeah you guys let's keep tossing playing in my airpods and i'm singing to the to the band in the background holy smokes do i see another tail man you gotta be kidding me Ooh, that's a nice looking one look at that the head of that one is actually a glow in the dark one pristine looking hook heck yeah you guys look at that one we got us another one the old glow in the dark let's keep tossing there's gotta be i want to find some more ripping wraps man i want to fill up the old ripping wrap thing the old rip and wrap and find them. Give me some of them wraps. I know they're down there. The old wrapper ooze. The old ten dollars a piece ones, the big guys. Oh, 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 we're hitting on some big stuff out here. We gotta be careful. Oh, 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 we're getting a little snaggy. I also don't like dragging it for too long because if you do have lures on there, you don't want to bounce them on rocks and pop them off. Oh, I see another tail. 
and a rip and wrap. Bingo. Yes, you guys. And look at, there's two jigs on there. Dude, I love this spot. I've never seen anything like this. Look at these two jigs, you guys. Oh, the, the hook on this one looks, yeah, I just snapped it. That one's junk. But this one here is still good yet, you guys. And again, you guys, we got us another rip and wrap. The old plain Jane white. Heck yeah, you guys. We already got three. Oh, it's beautiful out here today. It's a beautiful day, baby. Ooh, ooh. What the heck are we hitting on there? Some rocks, probably. There's a lot of snaggy stuff in this area. Holy cow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like that. I really don't like the way that feels. Oh, something had a hold of us. That was scary. GoPro still on there? It is. Uh huh. We got something. Oh, that's not one of them rip and wraps. That's like the off brand. But it essentially does the same thing as a rip and wrap. It's got a big weight on the nose there. You let this thing sink all the way to the bottom and then you just kind of jig it like that. Heck yeah, you guys. Nothing wrong with that one at all. Slowly but surely filling these tackle boxes up. See an eyeball, shmoney baby. Oh, look at there's two. Heck yeah, you guys, that's just a tiny little thing. I almost want to say this is like one of the most popular colors that we've been pulling out of here. Fishing lures are so weird, man, because realistically, what fish looks like this? What fish is red, yellow, and green, and another fish wants to eat it? Or purple, what the heck fish is realistically purple? You guys, this is, I just love this. I love this spot. As soon as I start posting these videos too, this is, I bet you this is gonna get thinned out real quick. I really feel like if any one of these people fishing on these boats knew what, like, what I'm doing over here, I feel like every one of them would, would keep a magnet on their boat just cause. money we got a big old anchor look at that one one of these suckers could i mean you could clean this up real easy this thing could sell for 20 bucks at least what a find i guarantee you there's tons of these down there probably all different shapes and styles or something. What is that dragon? Yeah. Oh, I do see some color on the other side though. Oh, you're kidding. Dude, oh, look at you guys. We got the big old ugly piece of rebar cash money. But look at man, we got one jig on there. That thing looks junk. And two ripping wraps. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Now we're talking cash money. At 10 bucks a piece, man, that's 20 bucks on one throw. And look at the colors on that one, the chrome with the blue. Dude, I feel like a little kid in a candy store. I'm not even kidding you. Look at this. We're gonna fill this up in no time. Are we still rolling? We are still rolling on the underwater camera here, but uh, are we getting any good footage? I don't know. I don't know, but I sure hope so. Because we are finding a lot of lures, man. Oh, I love this spot, you guys. I can't, when I think about it, I can't 
think of any other spot that would be like better than this for fishing lures i don't know there's just this is like a hot spot for the wall i run and these people are not using cheap lures man you're talking big expensive lures what is that Ooh. oh nice jig on there you guys look at that one that's a super nice one but look at this what the heck is that yellow thing oh that's like a lock it is too what the heck calm oh calvin 2022 well calvin 2022 i found your lock but you guys this is a like a pristine looking jig you can always tell when these rubbers are still floppy like that and not crusty and hard this is again another super decent jig yes man oh 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 Hunter. Oh, it almost looks like another chunk of maybe that pipe we just pulled up. But look at you guys again. Oh, look at that. It looks like two of the same style of jig on here. Yup, you guys check it out. That is exactly what we got going on here. Two of the same style, only this one looks like newer and this one looks like maybe 20 years old. This is crazy, you guys. It's not going to take long to fill this thing up at all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was gonna say, I see tons of color on that throw. Look at two more flipping, ripping wraps. And we got us two more jigs here, you guys, and they both look good. Oh, look at this one. This one's got like a trailer on it. He put this little extra hook on this one in case the fish come up and bite it and they bite too short and they get hooked anyways. I love all the different colors on these. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, we got us two more ripping wraps. We're still recording. Heck yeah, we are. Are we seeing anything? I don't know. Bingo! I didn't even see that one on there, you guys. Yes, man, check that one out. It's like a gold color with some yellow dots in the middle and like an orange nose. Another 10 bucks right in the tackle box. Look at this, you guys. If we're just counting ripping wraps right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at 10 bucks a piece, that's 90 bucks. <laughs> Plus, look at our jig box already. We got a couple jigs in there. These definitely aren't worth as much money, not nearly anywhere as near as much. But still, free lures are free lures, man. See some color. Dude, shut your lips right now. Oh, no. Look at you guys. Three ripping wraps on one throw. Oh my gosh. 10, 20, $30. And look at this one. 
and I'm pretty sure that looks like a custom color to me, man. It's all beat up now, but usually the custom ones are typically more expensive. You guys, holy cow, man. This is wild. Holy cow. We already got easily over $100 in lures. Let's keep tossing, guys. Let's see what else we can find. Sure, it's going to be a whole lot more fishing lures, but I guess, like I said, you just never know. But it does not get old finding these fishing lures. I literally could do this until the sun goes down or I run out of batteries or my boat sinks, whatever comes first. Literally, my very next throw, you guys. Look at we got us another one. And it's that like super popular color I've been talking about, the green with the orange and the yellow. This is wild, man. I just, I, I can't believe how many are coming out of here. This is unreal. Ooh, what's that? That feels a little heavier, but it's not like as heavy as an anchor or nothing. What is that? Just an ugly piece of scrap or something? There's definitely something here. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. <laughs> you guys, we got us another walleye jig. Uh, that one's questionable. We'll just toss that one. But you guys, two more ripping wraps. This is like out of control. Unreal, and look at this one. It's got a clam growing on it. That one's been down there for a while. Holy cow. Right to something. That's got to be an anchor. Yep, I bet you right here. I bet you any money. You got an anchor. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. Or maybe not. What the heck is that? Ugly piece of what the heck is that? Oh my gosh, there is a rip and wrap on the side though. You guys, no way. Look at this. I think it's just a piece of rebar with like a some concrete on there. What the heck is that? Boom, dude. We got another rip and wrap. Like a yellow green with a orange nose and like a black stripe on its back. I feel like I'm robbing the bait store right now. This is like, is this legal? You guys, oh my gosh. There's there's no way I'm the only one out here doing this. This is this is insane. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> I got another one. That sucker was hidden on the bottom. I couldn't even see it. Again, another one of the super popular colors, the old orange, yellow, and green with the tiger stripes. You guys, this is absolutely insane, man. Somebody's gonna have to stop me. I'm gonna find them all. We only have three more empty slots yet, and we have literally filled this entire thing with rip and wraps. My goodness. Yo, look at all the color. Oh, I only see one rip and wrap, but look at all the jigs. 
Ooh, look at that one. That one's like, oh, it looks like a fish was sucking on that thing. <laughs> you guys, look at this one though. This is a nice looking one. Dang. That's a really nice looking one. Then we got another, what looks like a hair jig, yeah. Another little broken golden jig, just a tiny one. Then again, it looks like one of them smaller uh, style with the heavy nose on there. Yup, the old pink guy. And boom, the old cash money rip and wrap, you guys. I can't get enough of this. <sighs> Try out a little deeper. I didn't even think there was anything on there, you guys. Look at this one. Another one of them fat nose, like the heavy tip diver jig ones. Only this one's like super fancy. Oh yeah, the old V-Rod. Shmona, shmona, shmona. Look at our last slot is officially filled. This is wild, you guys. This thing was completely empty when we got here. something there what is that is it gonna move or what the there it is again come here come here what is that something that doesn't want to move must have been a piece of rebar wedged or something because that did not want to move oh oh my gosh we got us another one you guys look at the colors on that one wait a minute that's just like this one right here hold on Yep, we found another one of them exact same ones. Heck yeah, dude, we are absolutely killing it out here. And look at this jig. Rubber's all beat up, I guess, but that hook still looks good yet. Holy smokes, man, somebody stop me. Holy cow, all of a sudden the wind has picked up like crazy. My goodness. It's like super windy all of a sudden. Jeez. Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, that's a jig. That's, uh, I actually use these all the time. Ha, check that one out, you guys. I bet you. Yeah, the jig still looks good yet, but this rubber is definitely no good. Toss that in the junk, and this is a decent jig yet. Heck yeah, dude. And it's got the brush guard on there. This is like a three, four dollar jig. The old Bitsy Bug or something. I forget what these are called. This is unbelievable. Like, holy cow. Oh, look at this, you guys. I could see and a rip and wrap and a jig. I could see this big old bill sticking off of there. Look at this one, man. The old Flicker Minnow 9D. Dude, that one there looks like cash money, baby. And that jig still looks good yet. And another rip and wrap. Seems to be quite a few of them. Yeah, there's so many like doubles. Another one with the gold and the yellow spots. And we got another one here. Holy cow.
something just clicked. What is that? Something stuck. Not moving. Or it is moving. Oh, it is moving. Hold on, I got something here. Yep, here it comes. I think it just popped out. What do we got? Another anchor? It is, dude. Nah. -uh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, look at. Look at what's dangling from there. We got a rip and wrap. I see a spinner hanging off of there. Holy cow. Oh, shut your lips. Look at. And another rip and wrap. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is this is literally a gold mine. This is just free money. This is the type of snag stuff that I want to find. You guys check out this little spinner too. Nothing wrong with that either. And now that I'm looking, look at this color, man. We haven't found one of these yet. And a an anchor, you guys. Look at this one, man. This one couldn't have been too old. It's got a little bit of gunk and junk on there, a couple clams. But you can tell, look at it, it's still got like the, what do you call it? Like the rubber paint casing on there. Heck yeah, you guys, that is still a good anchor yet. This is like actually the same style of anchor that I use and this is actually another anchor that I found magnet fishing. Cashing out, dude. Color, whole bunch of it. Oh, that's not a ripping wrap. That's one of them, uh, what is that, a crankbait? Yep, and again, two more jigs. That one's definitely junk. But this one here might still be good yet. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, I just seen the way that magnet came down and I didn't really think about that, but. Well, I guess the GoPro is in a protective case, but it looks like that magnet was like, gonna smash that GoPro. Ooh, what's that? That's heavy. Oh, this could be an anchor. And it might have a rope on it. And it might have 37,000 lures on it. Come here. Yeah, I got something here. Oh, that's heavy, dude. Like, whoa, that's, what the? That's heavier than an anchor, I'm telling you. Whoa, that's heavy. What is this? Oh my gosh, what is that? What? Oh no, you have to be kidding me. Oh, dude, what the? You guys, no flipping way. Nah, -uh. look at, I just caught two anchors on one throw. And these look like actual decent ones. Look at that one still swivels. And this is like the three pronger, dude. No way. This one's probably 30 bucks and this one's probably 30, 40 bucks. Honestly, I am gonna swap this one out right now for the one that we've been using. We are on the absolute money. I've literally never magnet fished a place like this. We're upgrading, baby. I'm literally not even gonna clean this thing off. I'm gonna just slap this thing on there. Boom, good to go. We got us a new anchor. Upgraded, just like that. You, buddy that looks like a pretty beat up jig actually not really it's just the rubber that's beat up but you guys this is like a what the fuck? this is crazy if you go magnet fishing let me know down in the comments if you've ever seen anything like this before because 
This is wild, man. I've never seen anything like this. We fill the whole tackle box and we are literally double stacking these things. Wow, I could literally start my own tackle store, like my own online shop or something. I don't know. There's one, I can see it hanging off of the side, you guys. Bingo. Oh, that's not a ripping wrap. What is that? That's another, oh, what does that say on there? Ireland, what the heck? Made in Ireland. What is that one? Huh, Rapala, the old Clara or something. That All right, gold. guys, we are off the water now. Look at this. We found four anchors. This one was the one that we replaced. So this is my original one. So we found four anchors today and we literally filled both of my tackle boxes that I brought. And we even found so much, we started double and triple stacking some of these. This is absolutely insane, you guys. 25 rip and wraps at about 10 bucks a piece, you guys. That's almost $250. Even if you round down, 200 bucks. And we found i believe six of this style of jig we found some pretty nice stuff here today you guys and we accomplished exactly what i said i wanted to do we filled up both of these tackle boxes completely full all together here again you guys we probably had another three if you include the anchors probably more like 400 dollar day and there's no telling how many are still out there all right you guys i am off the water and i am packed up that is gonna wrap our video up here for today you guys Guys, what a crazy day. And this is our second time. Again, you guys, we made out with another couple hundred dollars in lures. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, guys. If you enjoyed this video today, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.